Hey, what's up interwebs? I'm that toy guy and today I'm going to be taking a look at the Transformers Animated Battle Begins Deluxe 2 Pack. So here is both Optimus Prime and Megatron and their really oddly shaped box. So let's take a look at that first. So it says Optimus Megatron Battle Begins versus Animated. You have Battle Damage Optimus, Battle Damage Megatron. Exclusive DVD. Yeah. Uh, you have both figures up there and he has a buck tooth. That's really funny. On this side of the box, you have Bulkhead, Starscream, Lockdown, Optimus, Bumblebee, and Prowl. On this side, you have a read-up of that episode uh, that comes on the DVD. And on the back, you have a bio. Fusion Cannon converts to sword, kinda. Uh, he's the Decepticon Tyrant, and those are his galactic powers and abilities. And double-handed Ion Axe, kinda. And, you know, powers and abilities, and yeah. Woohoo for packaging. Oh, I knocked over Springer. Give me a sec. Springer. Springer, you must be rescued. Springer has been rescued. Okay. So, in this box, before we get to the toys, you get a DVD. The Battle Begins, which is basically an entire DVD with one episode and a couple of pictures. But it's the first episode with a new in with a different intro, a different outro, a little bit of a voiceover. And then a gallery of some images. And there's a read-up on the back. And it's rated TVY7, which means you have to be 7 or older to watch this. DVD is not a toy. Adult supervision is required. Aw. I'm just kidding. You can open it up, and the disc looks exactly the same as the cover. No insert. Oh, well. So, yeah, DVD. I actually did watch... Ooh, I actually did watch this. It's the first episode. Seen it already. So, here are the toys. And let's take a look at the crap one first and break your tripod. Let's take a look at the crap one first, starting with Megatron. So here is Megatron in the flying thing. I mean, what is this? Is this the front, or is this the front, or... I'm guessing this is the front, but this is weird, and fusion cannons backwards, and you flip him underneath, and he's just like, Hey, you guys! Um, if anyone gets that reference, please let me know. But yeah, here he is. He got some translucent plastic here, there there and there so be careful it might crack over time i actually have one of these figures but I didn't, I didn't have this i used to live in australia for a few years and while there i went to elementary school or they call it primary school there and every year my primary school would always have like a sale on where they would um a bunch of like people around the community would get together at the school and the students could um get like volunteer hours and stuff there working and that's what I did. I worked at the toy booth of all places and there was one of these and I decided to grab it before it went out onto the show floor because you know I wanted to buy it. It was like three dollars I bought it. It didn't have fusion cannon and it was all like re painted red and stuff. There was red paint all over it. So I never had the fusion cannon so now I do and this looks a lot better than just you know I've been used to seeing this but now this looks so much better. But it's just a flying space jet thing. Here it is next to a modern deluxe, and it's quite a bit longer than a modern deluxe, but yeah, oh well. And here it is next to... Where did I put Optimus? Oh, here he is. And here he is next to the Optimus he comes packed with. So, yeah. That's Megatron. Now for the good toy, the reason why I bought this box set. Optimus Prime. Animated Optimus Prime. That's, unsight that's unsightly. Let's just remove that. The axe can store back there. It doesn't look great. Not a lot of people like it. I'm going to remove it. There we go. Axe is gone. Truck is there. Now he does roll, but there is something weird. These outer wheels don't touch the ground unless you like really play with his legs. And that's because there are wheels on the inside here that stick out just a little further than these. So they're the ones that touch the ground and roll. So these ones don't spin, but he still rolls perfectly well. So it's a little weird. Now, he does have that battle damage on the front of him, and not a lot of people like the battle damage. I'm fine with it. There is a way to remove it, however, if you find... I'd say go to a games workshop or a hobby store, bring this toy, and ask the guy there, do you have any paint that matches this color and the silver on his face? Because what you're going to want to do to remove this is take some isopropyl alcohol and rub it on here. But when you do that, you're going to rub this red paint off. So you're just going to want to rub it off, then repaint over it with the same red color. And then, you know, dot some yellow in here and whatnot. But yeah, he's a nice little truck. I do really love how Animated was able to get those weird 2D, non-cohesive designs. 
and make toys out of them that function in both robot and vehicle mode and look exactly like their on-screen counterparts. It's just, it's a toy line that's not really like looked at by most collectors because it's so weird, but the toys themselves are such wonders of engineering that they're great. They're just well done. They're very well done. For a comparison, here's Skydive. Deluxe, whatever. Here he is next to the um, my first ever intentional repaint slash remold that I bought. Here he is next to Cybertronian Optimus Prime. It's the same exact mold, just same exact toy, sorry, just different molding and different paint. Now, I did say in my TFCon video that I like this guy better, but I've been messing around with him more, and I kind of like this guy better, so it's it depends on which version, like, which design you like better. Do you like the alien design with treads, or do you like the earth design with tires? It's completely up to you, but yeah. So just getting them back in here, just to show you again how they look together. Megatron is bigger, and rightly so. He is Megatron. I mean, in the cartoon, he was huge in comparison to him. So the Voyager, the Voyager would scale very well with the Deluxe, and the Leader would scale very well with the, with the Voyager of Optimus, but yeah. So let's get them transformed. Let's start off with Megatron, because again, let's start with the crappy figure. So the first thing you want to do is take the cannon, pull it off, throw it to the side. And then you have this weird thing. I don't even know what this is. Anyway, to start things off, you want to take this and just bring these out. And yeah, there's tissue there, and I'll explain why in a second. I just want to unpeg this, bring these in, fold these up, rotate them around, fold these up, flip them over. Bring the wings back all the way around, just like so. And then fold out the feet and his heel spurs. And there you have his legs, all done. You just want to bring these down. Bring the shoulders down, unfold the arms, rotate at the uh, shoulders. Bring the elbows all the way around. And then you want to take the fusion cannon and it just pegs in right here. And it only pegs in one way. It only pegs in that way. So yeah. And there you have... Weirdo Megatron, that's what I call him, in his robot mode. So let's let's now transform Optimus. Let's bring him in here. So the first thing you want to do is you want to come to the back here and just extend the legs all the way. They should click into place just like that. And you want to come under here and this is on a sliding joint right here. So you just want to unpeg it and slide it. This is the hard part about this figure is getting this to separate. So you just want to take this and wiggle it loose. Ah, just like that. It's pegged into this translucent peg here into here. I would recommend shaving this down. I haven't yet, but I would recommend shaving that down if you don't want to break that clip. So yeah, the next thing you want to do is bring that down, and there's a tab right here that'll slide into the front right there. So you just want to take it and just slide it in, just like that. Then you want to rotate the uh, legs around, fold up the feet. Now, they do go all the way, but I don't like how that looks. Thankfully, there's a natural stopping point right there. So you can just take him and stand him up at that natural stopping point. Just like that. Then you want to take your camera and raise it up so people can see what you're doing. You want to take these sections here and just unpeg them and fold them down. Come back to this part here and fold these down. Just like that. And then fold that down on a double hinge. Bring out the arms just like so. Fold out the hands. And then, you know, you can put his axe in his hand. Yeah, it's a tight fit. There you have Prime in his robot mode. So let's just bring both of them in here. There you have a size comparison. And then for more comparisons, here he is with uh, Skydive. Just real quick. There they are next to Skydive. And they dwarf Skydive, which is hilarious. You know, modern day deluxe, older deluxe. And just quickly... Here, this two-pack would have made more sense because, you know, you got Earth Optimus and Cybertron Megatron. That's weird. If it had been this, that would have made more sense. But, yeah, anyway, there's both Optimus Primes next to each other. And, again, robot mode, I like this one better, but vehicle mode, this one looks so much better. But, yeah, let's take a look at the crappy figure to start. Here is Megatron, and now the reason why you're seeing tissue in the joints is because when I bought these, they were brand new, like the box had never been opened. But over time, when they sit in the box like that with a plexi, with like a plastic, a clear plastic front end, and they sit in the sun or in the heat for too long, the joints start to get really loose and really, they start to get floppy. 
And when I opened these guys up, they were super duper floppy, and I ran out of thickening agent. I have no super glue, I have no floor polish, no nothing. So for the time being, there's tissues sitting in the joints to hold them in place, and it does a pretty good job at fixing them. And I'm going to wait till I get some proper, like, I think I'm just going to get some super glue, and I'll just fix the joints that way. But yeah, here's a look at Megatron. There's his, um, there's his face. You got some battle damage going on here. Again, isopropyl alcohol, rub it off. This one you won't need to repaint on unless you're doing the foot here, so yeah. You got some clear plastic here. Not a lot of surface detail just due to the fact that this is based off of animated and animated was very flat 2D images. But yeah, no backpack, which is very nice. I love seeing that. Massive fusion cannon though. You know, that this part right here, both up to there, is all we really needed, and then this is the rest of this. Now, it does say fusion cannon becomes a sword, so I'll show that off. You have this little bit here that you can just take off, but it has nowhere to go, so just leave it on. But you can take this, bend it down, and then take this section and fold it out. And it's a sword now, but the peg is shaped so specifically that it can only go on like that. So there's no point. What is he supposed to do? Bend his arm backwards and hit you? Like, that makes no sense. That's stupid. So yeah, articulation-wise, heads on a ball joint, shoulders, ball joint, and an extra joint here. Bicep swivel, double jointed elbow. The waist is spring-loaded, so he can punch fools in the face. Where's my skydive at? There he is. Skydive. You know, punch you in the face. Um, hips are on ball joints. The skirts can move out of the way. Thigh swivel, knee bend, foot joint. Megatron. I don't really like him. Now, the main event is Optimus Prime. The reason I bought this two-pack. Now, I paid 25 bucks for this two-pack, and I found the lucky draw figure at the convention for 50 bucks, and I wasn't going to pay that. A, I already bought this, and B, it's 50 bucks for a deluxe. I'm not paying $50 for a deluxe. But here is Optimus taking a quick look at his head sculpt. Very nice animated head sculpt. Again, you got the battle damage, but it doesn't bother me. You got an Autobot symbol there. This guy's got more more surface detail by far, just not on the legs. You have the two wheels here, and I thought that the inside wheels were just going to be fake wheels, but they're real because they have to be real for truck mode. So these ones should have been fake, but they're also real. So that extra effort that they put into that is really nice. And just overall looks like the animated model. The only thing that's inconsistent are the wheels up here, but I don't care. That looks really cool. Again, no backpack really nicely done. Articulation wise the head is on a disc joint and a ball joint so it can look left and right and up and down. The shoulders are on a ball joint they can do full 360 they can go out that far and they have an extra joint if you really want to use that. He has a double jointed elbow due to transformation. The bottom elbow has a ball joint so you have a bicep swivel and the wrists can hinge in and out. He has that same spring loaded waist feature. Hips are on ball joints you can bend at the knee and he has my least favorite point of articulation, which is a below-the-knee swivel. Really don't like that. And again, it's for transformation, so you can rotate this, but you could have just put it up there and get rid of that, and that would have been a lot better. And the feet can go up and down. Let's get back to that natural stopping point there. So yeah, that's... Where's Megatron? That's... That's the two-pack. And overall, this figure is really good. Not so much. I would say if you want a version of Megatron, buy the Voyager. There is another two-pack of this guy. You can get him with Black Arachnia. That's a better deal. Because Black Arachnia, Black Arachnia is a good figure. I didn't see that two-pack there. And I don't think that that guy got a... a, 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 a uh, my tongue stopped working. If he got an original, like, standalone release. I'm not 100% sure. That guy, I don't think did either. I think he came in a two-pack with Prowl as well. So yeah, that's been my look at the Transformers Animated Battle Begins 2-pack with a very good figure and a piece of garbage. And I'm that toy guy and stay tuned for my next video.